Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric, and doing another live painting session today. Um, I'm at home, still working at the home studio right now, but um, doing a little bit at the other studio too, but today, um, at home. So, as you can see I'm wearing, this is one of my paintings called Rainbow Feet, and I got it printed on a t-shirt. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I got t-shirts available if anyone wants one. Um, basically, you can kind of cruise my website or uh, my Instagram and um, say, hey, DM me and just be like, I like this image. I would love it on a t-shirt. Um, this is a men's medium. Uh, I get it printed on the Fine Art America website, which I, I'm also on, and you can get my stuff um, printed on like shark curtains, tapestries, a whole bunch of stuff. So you can either DM me or um, you can find me on Fine Art America and you can just order it directly through there. Um, but today I wanted to be working on canvas, small canvas, maybe like 11 by 17. And thinking about working with this bottle and plant. This is a little study that I did, and I did these uh, in Photoshop. I made these references here. So we got the Colt 4540 uh, PBR can, and this is a wine bottle. And up here are um, tropical plants that I've been adding to it. And the reason why I'm going with like liquor and the tropical plants is that it kind of it relates more closely to my personal story and my own struggles with uh, alcoholism and recovery um, currently almost five years sober at this time so it's for me it's an exercise in um, understanding uh, what 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 that trans transformation of my life has been like and um, I think this is a really uh, kind of like relatable way of going about that conversation. Um, hopefully kind of relatable to some people as well. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna be kind of working on it pretty loosely today. I probably won't get uh, anything super finished, but this is like a little sketch that I did. And I also wanted to talk about the print giveaway that I'm doing. Um, it ends on October 20th. So if you're interested in getting a, a free print from me, um, you can go to my website on www.ecmvisionstudio.com. All you gotta do is enter your email address and you're in the drawing for this free 9 by 12 print. Um, pulling it out right now. And this is what it'll be. It's on watercolor paper. It's in the package. I'm mean, kind of pulling it out and I'm trying not to touch it too much. So I'm going to keep it in the package. But uh, this is the painting I Feel You. Um, so it's on 9 by 12 and it's watercolor paper so there's some nice texture to it. I'm pretty happy with the way the print came out. So if you go to my website, um, you can get in the drawing to get this for free. And let's get to it. Alright, so this that action I'll try and talk a little bit more um, while I'm painting and, and going through the process. Um, 
I'm really, I really like this guy. His name is John Kilduff. He's a painter, but he does this, um, he does these, uh, like YouTube videos and he used to do it on public access TV called, um, Paint TV. And, um, I don't know, he's really inspiring me, inspiring me to go live and do live painting sessions. He's really funny and, um, he just goes for it. So, I'm definitely not at his level yet, um, but we'll give it a shot here. So, kind of talked about the idea, got the bottle and the plant, and see kind of where it goes. Continuing with the, the grayscale, although it's been, I don't know, maybe seven months now of doing the grayscale work and starting to get a little tired of it i might start sneaking color back in um this was actually an older painting and i just painted over it and underneath it was this form and so i just outlined it with like a paint marker and thought it was a really interesting form i, I like to just get something on the canvas just to start it off i'm not like a uh, a perfectionist like every step of the process so I like to have something going even just make a mess and then try and clean it up later that's that's kind of my my preferred way of going about it so let's see what we can do with this today uh, I've got acrylic paint and I've been using this India ink and mixing it with the acrylic. It's a different kind of black than using the acrylic black. I like how um, it's very liquidy and not thick at all, so it gets it gets like a nice wash kind of happening. Let's see. Maybe we can do a little start off with that, some washes just to kind of have some fun with the paint. Also, wet into wet is fun for me. I mean, you can't be a perfectionist in working wet in wet. I think I'm always trying to like battle the being a perfectionist, wishing that I had a little bit more of a perfectionist, um, painting style, a little hot, more hard edge, but you know, you just gotta be, just gotta be who you are, and just let it go. So, that's kind of what I'm going for here. So, all this like cool drips and stuff will be like really interesting information to work with later. And even these bubbles too, sometimes if you don't touch it, it'll, just, it'll dry like that. It gives it this interesting texture. Using, like this is a super cheap brush. Um, so having, having um, not too much of a worry about using really expensive brushes either. I need it to be really direct. I like to I like to be really resourceful and just try and use whatever I got and and not get too refined about it. I don't know. The preciousness part can really be debilitating. So I make sure to not overdo it on the spending with material sometimes because it'll the preciousness will just debilitate me from being like a free free to do what I want to do if that makes any sense okay so we got this kind of going on All right. 
already not interested in that. It's, the bottle's gonna be too big, so. I have this paper towel I've been reusing like a thousand times over. <laughs> and it's cool because the acrylic gets into it and it just makes makes it really stiff. Um, to keep reusing it. any ideas any questions any thoughts shoot them my way and I'll see what I can answer for you Um, so the plant that I have in the sketch here is um, Lehua, which is a Hawaiian plant. Um, I know it mostly from um, the honey that comes from the plant. Um, it's really popular here in Hawaii. I haven't, I, I'm ashamed to say, I haven't done too much research on the history of what Lehua meant to um, the Hawaiian people and maybe it's some of its symbolism but that's something that um, I want to get into a little bit more in the future just to just so I, I'm aware of what it is that I'm you know visually representing and putting out there um, but you know firstly I really love the form of it and, and this this is really interesting flower so I'm just going to go ahead and just sketch in some of the plants. I like to listen to Aphex Twin, mostly when I'm working, or um, instrumental electronica. Kind of frees up my mind. Sometimes listening to stuff that has lyrics kind of influences me too much, and this allows me, it's the electronica is more abstract.
lost the form of the bottle here. I live right in downtown Honolulu, so I got all the action. Police sirens, motorcycles. And I'm kind of going back and forth in the, the white and the black. At this stage, it's just whatever is fun and, and gets me to keep going on it. I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit impulsive and impatient. So especially when it comes to like painting, looking at a reference and trying to um, actually, you know, make a, a actually make that reference look like what I'm what I'm painting, <laughs> and you know the the details of of reality can be a little bit overwhelming. So. But I really like that that struggle, that that the balance between struggle. I guess the balance. But it's definitely a struggle. But I think that comes through in the work. And I really like to see that. I like to see that more than a really accurately painted representation of something because it just has. To me, it has more life. And you can see a person's personality really coming through on that. And I guess the super realistic, tight, super realistic work 
is also a representation of a personality, you know, a patient personality who really can dig into those details and sit. But for me, it's always a struggle of trying to trying to stick to the structure um, and not and not get too far off because I don't know it, I want to I set the goal for myself and I want to try to achieve it in whatever way it's going to happen and also a lot of the times the reference is just a good starting place and then it becomes about um, just making an interesting painting so whatever the painting start, starts to happen in the painting um, I kind of will try to obey what the painting is telling me and instead of focusing on accuracy I go for what the painting is telling me and to just finish that out and, and make an interesting painting already I'm having the urge to just jump all over the place I also have a tendency to drink a little bit too much like coffee or something caffeinated before I start to kind of get me going and then I'm, when I'm in it I'm kind of shaky but I guess that's just uh, part of the process and, and an element of, of what I do just, uh, into adding a little bit of the black acrylic. Liquitex is pretty good. I mean, my favorite is golden. It's like top of the line acrylic paint. It can get pricey. Also, live in Hawaii, so I'm going out shopping 
course supplies, a little bit limited choice. I should probably order it online, but I like to try and support the stores here. Anyway, uh, Liquitex Ivory Black. Another part of the process is I'll get to you know, close to a point like this and then I'll start obsessing over it a little bit too much and kind of thinking like, oh, it's wrong, it's wrong. And then I'll just maybe wipe it away, paint over it. And then it's usually the second, second take on it that I start to get a little bit more free with it. And that's when the really probably the best uh, brush strokes come out and a little bit more freedom comes out. If you're watching, uh, I'm going to be posting this on IGTV, on my IGTV, and um, if you're watching it on IGTV right now, I would love to hear any kind of feedback, like, Eric, can you talk a little bit louder? Eric, can you explain more about this? Eric, um, maybe don't do that. <laughs> or I don't care, anything, any kind of feedback would, is very welcome. Stoked to hear from you.
So now I'm just looking at the leaves and just getting some basic shadow highlight relationships happening. Not fussing over it too much. And just trying to get some forms in there. I like to see a lot of history in a painting. I like to see it. I like to see the process of it, you know, represented like right there on the, on the canvas or paper or wood or whatever you're painting on. I used to paint, so I used to live in Oakland, California and I lived in an area where there was a lot of stuff on the street. A lot of people just dumping stuff. And I got really into collecting stuff in the street and just painting on whatever I could find. Like I found this tabletop in table, different kinds of tables, and um, I was really into traffic cones for a while, and just all kinds of stuff, that was fun, it's fun because it's like having a <clears throat> conversation with the street, and pieces really have a, a history, and a, and a rooting in, in the place that they are, in the place that they're from. I like these drips in here. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna fill in everything. I like some of this stuff in here. Let's see how it goes. Also, I'd love to hear some feedback on this direction I'm taking either with the grayscale. Do you love it or hate it? Do you um, like this bottle and plant idea? <clears throat> and if you're familiar with my other work, um, the portraiture stuff, the, the figurative work is new for me and I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm getting, I think I'm pretty good at staying really loose. I like, if I really dig in and figure out what kind of an artist or painter I am, my ideal is to be loose, as loose as possible.
Uh, if you live in on Oahu, um, the painting that I'm doing the print giveaway for, I feel you, is hanging up in Kailua. Um, this co-working space called Treehouse Co-working. Shout out to Treehouse Co-working. They have a little gallery space set up and they have a show called Coping with COVID. I haven't actually gone to see the show yet, but um, I think they're open. So if you're in Kailua and interested in, interested in seeing the original, the original painting of the print hanging up there right now, also for sale. And I think if you buy it from them, I think the commission that they take goes, is being donated. Not quite sure where, but maybe something um, that is beneficial towards helping people, you know, maybe affected, uh, in fact, affected with COVID or maybe like a food bank or something. I'll have to look into that. I like to do a lot of mixing on the canvas. I don't know if this is really considered good painting technique, but it's fun for me. A lot of happy accidents can happen. This actually be darker, huh? Okay? I did the opposite. I don't know if you can see, but already you can see that green line is still in there.
I guess speaking of looseness, I'm new to doing the live thing and I'm trying to loosen it up. Be a little bit more conversational, less of like a presenter. So any tips on that would be welcome. We're going to stray from the reference a little bit, so at this point I just want to make a leaf. It looks like it's kind of coming out of the bottom. It's a pretty good start. So, for anyone who joined me on the live today, thanks for showing up. If not, you're watching this on the IGTV. Thanks for watching. Um, again, I got the t shirts. This is Rainbow Feet. You can find this on my Instagram or on my website. And hit me up if you're interested. And then also, the print giveaway still happening. 
Uh, October 20th is the end of the, uh, is the deadline to enter. So a free 9x12 print to go to you if you like. Just have to sign up for your email, that's it. So. Also on the website, my new website, brand new website, uh, lots of cool uh, print options for a uh, selection of my work. Um, everything from metal to wood, uh, different kinds of paper, uh, wrapped canvas, I uh, think there's even coasters on there. So um, that's available. Soon I'm gonna be getting those print I'll print out the examples and I can kind of like show it to you, but uh, they're on their way right now. So in the future. So anyway, be um, sure to check out my website, sign up for the print giveaway, and thanks for watching.